What's up? This is Paul, your new wellness guy, bringing you another life lesson. Uh, when this video is recorded, there is a quarantine. There's a virus, something called COVID-19, that has people staying in their homes, being distant, physically distant from others. And this time in my home to myself has given me the opportunity and space to really dive into some spaces, dive into myself like, yes. I'm a closet introvert, even though I, people are like, you must be an extrovert. Like, nah, nah. I like being to myself. So here's the kicker, right? In this space, like I've, I've over the, before this all went down, before this quarantine went down, I was already in this mindset of, I get to have a routine, something as soon as I wake up, something that connects me, what have you. And I, I procrastinated on that, procrastinated on it. And now in this time of the quarantine and being in the house and being free, and, and there's times I forget like what day is it, what time is it, like like things can become, can come together as one. So having some sort of ritual help will help to ground me. And so I found over this path, over the past several weeks, I've settled into like, okay, I've, I've like, okay, I want to get a routine. And I found myself resisting it, like procrastinating on it. Like, okay, is that like a set of push-ups? Is it like, is it sun salutations? Is it, well, what is it? I found myself even getting into this deeper level of like, what is it? What and what can I, what can it be? What do I want it to be? And that's where the questions rest when it really took another level was when I started to ask myself, what do I want this to be? You see, when, if you're like me and you resist routine, <sighs> drop, I, I try, give, give this a go. Drop the routine. Connect with your ritual. Drop the routine. Connect with your ritual. Why do I say that? Glad you asked. A ritual is honoring something that is sacred. Honoring, honoring something that means something. So when I decided, when I chose to change the word routine to ritual, I found myself being willing to find something that will, I, first of all, from something that I can hold myself, hold, that, that I could do that will hold myself sacred. Then the question beyond that was, what do I consider sacred about myself? What do I really consider sacred about myself? Is it my mind? Is it my breath? Is it my body? What is it for you? And whatever that is for you, take on a ritual, on a ritual that honors that. So for me, it's my body, it's my mind, and it's my breath. Those are the three things that I hold sacred. My body, my mind, and my breath. So what I'm adopting as my ritual, and this is my claim and stamp, is to get up, to breathe into my meditation, to be conscious of my breath, scan my body. From there, standing stillness. There's a Qigong form that I, uh, that I found that I'm going to take on. And then move my body. So honoring my body and like my ability to have to adapt in a day. So this is where I think animal flow is going to come in really helpful for me. Bring in some yoga poses. I don't know. I'm still going to formulate that, but that's the ritual. And right now, as of today, today was the first day I got up. I did my meditation, worked on the moving. I'm getting that down. Now, this brings about the second piece. Shifting it from routine to ritual helps me to be present. So um, I could, I could, like I've done the things where I was like, oh yeah, I'll just do my sun salutations, great. And at the same time, I started going through the motions where I would start doing it and I'd be thinking, so I'd be somewhere else. So the, the key thing with ritual is that when you, when you take on this ritual, when I take on this ritual, it means I commit to being present when I'm doing this be there at that moment whatever activity that I'm doing that's the diff that makes a difference in the distinction between your traditional routine and your ritual again you're being present to honor something sacred 
So to do that, that means you're gonna you're gonna you get to adapt, adapt, be flexible. That means like, yo, this is your ritual as you're learning it. It's about finding what's the best and the highest for you. Meaning that instead of shying away, we're like, oh, this is a little too hard at this. Still want to live on your edge when you're creating these rituals. Something that's going to challenge you. Something that's going to get to, for me, it's the meditation of 44 minutes. That stuff right now is challenging for me. I'm like, oh, God, it's sitting with myself. Ooh. And also the adaptability to moving because I have my hips get really tight and painful. So moving, I'm like, I don't, I, I, no, mm -mm, nope, nope. So I, I invite you all to, to consider this. If you're, again, if you're like me and you're resistant to routine, I invite you to take on a ritual, to adapt and own your own ritual. Own your ritual. Have a ritual that, that honors what that those parts or those those things in you that you hold as sacred. And that means you're gonna have to dive deeper into the question like what is sacred? What what do you hold as sacred about yourself? And once you find that, honor it. Honor it. Create that ritual, honor it. Listen, this is Paul, your new wellness guide. This is a new way of this is a new way of well being. This is a new way of well-being. You figuring out what well-being means for you. God damn it. You. So, blessed to be your guide and blessed to be on this journey with you. Thanks for watching. Hey, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'm out.